Hi guys there, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now in this video, um, we've got an unboxing. Um, I was approached by a lovely lady called Rosie and she has um, her own shop and she sells planner supplies. Um, so she sent me, she's been very kind enough to send me this box of goodies here um, just to share with you guys. Um, and obviously I can use these as well in my um, in my craft. So let's jump straight in. These are from um, Rosie and it's Sweet Pea Planner, if you can see there. That's a little stamp, which is very cute. I love how, how it sort of goes around there. That's really cute. So let's open this up and we will see what's inside. So first of all, you've got your lovely tissue paper. We've got an orange colour here with some really nice coordinating washi tape. So we'll open that and we'll look inside. Okay, really, really bright and colourful. That's the first thing that kind of strikes me. It looks cheery. It looks summery and it just looks really inviting so we've got a card here which um says sweet pea planner supplies okay and that's a beautiful card as well and we've got some washi at the bottom and there's the details there so it says find us at our facebook group and that's sweet pea planner supplies and you can use the hashtag hashtag sweet pea planner supplies to share your haul on instagram as well so I will take a photo and include that on my Instagram. So there are the details there. And let's have a look. Now, I don't know what, um, what Rose is sent. So it is just a case of both of us or all of us just having a look, really, and going together here. So this says summertime sunshine, summer busy bee. And we've got the details here of the Etsy shop and the Instagram. OK, now I'm going to put all of this in the description down below and um, the with the Etsy shop and yeah all the details there so this says handcrafted by Cherie let's have a little look I'm going to open this just so we can have a look at this this card so this oops sorry this is actually stickers these are stickers I just thought that was um, a plain piece of paper there but they're actually stickers so I presume they're they're the um the Etsy ones for Cherie there so we've got the sweet pea and we've got those ones as well so let's pop that there okay now we've got some washi there's some washi here now these are really nice colours um oranges the orange goes really nice I don't normally go for orange but it looks absolutely beautiful and when you're teaming it up with these different types of um you know colours maybe with the orange in there it's looking really cool so there's some washi there on that little um, on that little card with some beautiful washi. Let's have a look here. It's always it's always very exciting when you're unwrapping and opening things, especially when you don't even know what you've got. Ah, oh, look here. How cute is that? Wow. So if you have got a planner then it is definitely worth popping on and having a look because all these different types of planner supplies, and you, also you can't sometimes find things like this. You know, if you're just sort of looking, um, you know, around on the normal like eBay or places like that. So if you go to someone um, that deals in them specially, you know, this is, you can often find different bits and pieces. And here we've got an MDF. It's a mason jar there. So that can, again can be decorated. So mason jars are still very, very popular. We've got some twine here, and that is really cute. Look at that. It's just mini, but just dead sweet. So that's the yellow and, and white there. I don't know what bit to go for first. Right, this says dreams and wishes gifts at etsy.com, and Instagram is dreams and wishes gifts. Okay, and inside, let's have a look. Oh, hang on a second little fingers and thumbs today let's get in this it's not actually hard but for some reason i'm finding it hard there we go right let's open these these out so these are brill for planners aren't they so we've got some stickers here and they're all again on that summery kind of theme we've got the busy bee stickers here and then we've got some butterflies and little busy bees there and these can be used and built up and used in planners 
And the good thing about using sort of getting these um, these boxes is it gets you a stack and a supply of things that you probably wouldn't ordinarily pick up, sort of colours that you probably wouldn't ordinarily go for. And that's the beauty about it. Let's have a look here. Now we've got a beautiful organza bag, a little green organza bag here. Let's look inside. Some nice little goodies. So we've got some butterflies here, wooden butterflies. We've got a green and a red. Got some little buzzy bees. That is tiny. Look how cute that is. Got some ladybirds. Some flat backs. Some tiny buttons. A heart there. Little tassel, beautiful flower, and then there's some a tiny little clip there with some yellow ribbon. That's a little bag of goodies, that is. Let's carefully see if I can pop those in there without dropping them all. I'm going to put them in just to keep them safe. Let's pop that last thing in, pull that. But that looks lovely in the green bag, doesn't it? Right, what else have we got here? We've got um, a little envelope. And um, on that, it's got the um, the mason jar print. Beautiful washi on the top. Look, that's the same as that washi there. That's nice. I like that one. Let's open this and see what we've got in here. Ah, we have some mason jar die cuts. So these have been cut out into card. This is like a cream card. And it's mason jars. So you can see there that it fits the same as the little packet there. So that's handy if you don't want to buy the stamp for something, because sometimes the stamps can work out quite expensive. So if you've just got something that, you know, you just want to do a little something, but you don't really need, need a new stamp, this is a great way to get um, to get some of the die cuts without splashing out. This one's got a little bee on, and um, that's like a, it looks a bit like um, honeycomb, doesn't it, that one? Let's open this here and see what goodies we've got in here. Oh, wow, look at this. Again, on the same theme of the orange, the yellow, the green. Still in there, look. There's loads. Let's see if we can get those out. And here we've got some cutouts already done. So it's nice and simple, nice and easy. And there's a mixture of the different coloured cards there, different shaped flowers. We've got some, a few other types of flowers there. But again, they're all along the same little theme. Another buzzy bee but in the paper. Let's have a look at that one. That's cut out really nice. I don't know if it's focusing, but it's um, it's embossed a bit there. And then all the different shaped flowers there. Got some green leaves. So they are lovely. Let's see if we can pop those back in that little packet just to keep those safe. Okay, now let's have a look what else we've got. Gosh, it's never ending, is it? Here we've got another bag, spotty bag here, orange orange bag with um, white spots and some lovely washi. I think that's that washi there at the top, if you can see. Let's take that off. I love things in little bags. I just think it makes it look more exciting. I don't know what you guys think. So I don't think there's anything else in here, but let me just check. Oh, there is. There is more and more and more, and we've got more of the paper bits of the die cuts. That's going to save lots of time, isn't it? I'm going to keep that bag too, because that bag is really pretty. So let's have a look in here. These are beautiful. So if you're into card making, this type of planning kit will be absolutely perfect for you. Um, because there's so many different things that you can do, so many different ideas. And let me know in the comments down below if you make cards and what you would use out of this kit and what type of card you would make, what bits take your fancy, you know, if you've got a planner, um, and, you know, what would you use them for? Because there's some really, really nice, different designs, different colours, and they're so bright and cheerful. So please let me know. Um, in the description down below because I don't really make many cards and I, I kind of wish I did really but it's um it's something I'll kind of get into over time so if you make cards down below just say hi but look at that there you've got like some hessian you've got a busy bee on the front there so there's two of those slightly different size but not much difference in them 
that's those and oh look at this here this looks very interesting so I'm going to try and peel a bit can you see so you can pop these bits on and build all that up with your little bee designs so that is really cool and you've got your envelope there with the bee on the side and the attention to detail with the bees and the stamps is just really lovely that's it's really impressive let's move these to one side i really like this that design there i really love that it's just like lace isn't it paper lace okay let's see what else we've got here some more little bits and pieces some more little cutouts which can be layered up there i'd love to know what all you guys would do with this box so um because i'm not great at sort of card making um it'd be great if you could give me some ideas too right let's have a look at these we've got some bits of card so they're white on the back and you've got some beautiful card designs and they feel so they don't they're not as thin as paper but they're not a thick card, if you see what I mean. They're kind of like in between. But it's nice to have the different designs and how you can sort of mix and match the different colours together. And they're really, really cool. So they're the, they're the bits of card. Gosh, I'm running out of room. Let's have a look, see if I can pick this one up. And wow, look at how beautiful that is. That's very intricate, isn't it? That's a beautiful design. And again, what would you use that for? It's really cool. I love that. But you could change the colour. You can't, you don't have to leave it yellow. You could actually sort of like paint it or put something else on top. So you don't even have to, to leave the things that colour. And in here, we have got some card. And this is thicker card. And it's plain. As you can see, again, the colours are along the same themes. You can, you, you can cut these out. You can use these on your cards. You can use these on your projects. You can team them up with the other things and sort of mix and match. And they come to you delivered in these nice little safe boxes here in this beautiful, beautiful tissue. So I'm going to put Rose's details in the um, description down below and please do pop along and say hello um tell her that tell you came over from becky's crafts and goodies um and if you do fancy having a look then um you can have a look on facebook as well so she's sweet pea planner supplies on facebook so if you've got a facebook account just type that in um on the search bar there and you should be able to find all the details so thank you so much rosie thank you so much for sending all these beautiful goodies to me and thank you guys um for open the box along with me and I hope you are all feeling well I hope the sunshine is all cheering you up and um, I hope these colours have too and I'll see you all again very soon bye for now